Hello fellas. Welcome back to top 5 choices. Today's video I am gonna do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best true wireless earbuds, 2021. After doing proper researches, we came to the conclusion that meets the best in terms of overall. Kindly leave a like if you find this helpful, and I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications if you haven't. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. We'll be back with more videos. The JBL Live Pro Plus TWS True Wireless are in ears with a very good active noise cancelling ANC feature. The ANC has three levels that target different kinds of noise like ambient chatter or outdoor sounds, so you can select a mode suitable for your needs. They also have a bass heavy sound profile that can be tweaked to your liking using the companion app's parametric EQ or presets. They have a comfortable, well-built design and are rated IPX4 for water resistance, although we don't currently test for this. That said, they have high latency on PC, iOS, and Android and don't have NFC or multi-device pairing. The JBL Live Pro TWS are great for commute and travels. They're very portable and have a comfortable fit. Thanks to their ANC feature, they can do a very good job of blocking out sounds like bus or plane engine noise around you and set to everyday mode. You can also set them to a different ANC mode if you prefer, though. They have just under 7 hours of continuous battery life, and if you need more, there are 3 additional charges in their carrying case. They don't leak very much audio either, so you can listen to music at a high volume without bothering other people around you. The JBL Live Pro Plus TWS are comfortable headphones. They have a lightweight feel, and using the controls doesn't push them further into your ear, which is nice. However, if you don't get a good seal, the tips may fall out of your ears. Luckily, they come with a lot of tip options to help you find the best possible fit. One way of telling the Galaxy Buds 2 apart from its siblings is by its design. If the Samsung Galaxy Buds live most closely resemble beans, the Samsung Galaxy Buds 2's closest comparison are pebbles, they're small, mostly round, and are super smooth. They fit into a rounded plastic case that slides easily into a pocket, too. Once you open the case, you'll see the buds themselves in one of four colors, lavender, olive, white, and graphite. However, it's worth noting that the buds themselves and the inside of the case will have a distinctive color but the outside of the case won't, it will always be white. According to Samsung, the new Galaxy Buds 2 are 15% smaller and 20% lighter than the Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus, and that makes them easier to wear for long periods of time. The downside of them being a bit smaller is that they're a little harder to handle and can slip out of their case and your ears more easily. Thankfully, because the buds are magnetized to hook onto the metal charging pins in the case it won't happen frequently, but we definitely advise being careful with them when pulling them out or putting them back in their case, lest they accidentally fall out and bounce somewhere where you can't reach them. Noise cancellation is turned on by holding either earbuds touchpad. You can customize that function through the Galaxy wearable app to something else, like summoning your virtual assistant, but we recommend keeping at least one of the controls set for noise cancellation. A recent firmware update has also added the ability to activate ANC even when you're using just one earbud. Speaking of assistance, we're kind of disappointed that Samsung didn't build an always listening assistant into the Galaxy Buds 2, and it might mean that they're less compelling for folks who don't want to have to tap a button to summon their voice assistant. Press the noise cancellation button again and you'll switch to the ambient mode, which pipes outside audio into the buds. That may sound like the exact opposite of what you'd want, but it's surprisingly helpful if you want to have a conversation without taking out the buds or when you're listening for your flight number to be called. The aforementioned firmware update has added the ability to activate ambient mode during calls, too, so you can listen to things around you even when on the phone. The Tone Free FP series comes with a short stem design with in-ear tips. They have been tuned by Meridian Audio and feature active noise cancellation. LG has used medical grade ear gels on the TWS earbuds, and all three models have three mics each. They come with features like multi-pairing, swift pairing, and compatibility with both iOS and Android. The LG Tone Free FP9 also comes with plug and wireless feature that uses the charging case as a Bluetooth converter. You connect the case to your device using a USB-C to 3.5mm cable, and this can transmit audio to the buds even on devices that don't have Bluetooth. LG Tone Free FP9 and Tone Free FP8 have a claimed total battery life of up to 24 hours with 10 hours from the earbuds themselves after a single charge. The LG Tone Free FP5, however, have a slightly shorter 22-hour battery life with 8 hours from the earbuds. 
When it comes to charging, the LG Tone Free FP9 and LG Tone Free FP5 have USB Type-C ports on the charging case while the LG Tone Free FP8 supports wireless charging, along with wired charging. The Tone Free FP9 and Tone Free FP8 come with Avnano charging cases which is per LG reduce bacteria on the earbud speaker mesh by 99.9% .9 in 5 minutes. This feature works on the LG Tone Free FP8 both when charging wirelessly or with a wire. Bose's penchant for premium craftsmanship has been celebrated for decades, though the quiet comfort earbuds may be deemed too minimalist for style mongers. However, there's no denying their build quality. The buds are constructed from much of the same high-end composite plastic that was used to put together the brand's previous sporty wireless earbuds, the Sound Sport Free, which were super durable and built to take beats. The matte finish is a nice touch that shines bright when exposed to sunlight. Regarding size, the Quiet Comfort earbuds are not the most discreet model to wear. Compared to the Sony WF-1000XM3, they are slimmer and nearly identical in length, but also stick out like a sore thumb. The sound port comes with black IR sensors for on-ear detection. It looks like Bose also made minor changes to the model's previous design that we saw at an exclusive briefing last year, which, at the time, went under the Bose 500 earbuds alias, the mics are now placed at the bottom of the casing rather than the front. I thought Sony and JBL had an affinity for large charging cases, but Bose seems to have one-upped its adversaries with its own creation. The Quiet Comfort earbuds charging case is huge and hefty, 3.5 by 2 by 1.3 inches and 2.7 ounces. Do the math, this is about 2.5 times thicker and 2 times heavier than the AirPods Pro case, 1.78 by 2.39 by 0.85 inches, 1.6 grams. Simply put, it's not the most portable friendly option out there. Some people found the comfortability on the sound sport free to be accommodating for workouts and others said the buds were an unpleasant wear for casual listening. Not much has changed on the quiet comfort earbuds. Those with a high pain threshold should be able to sport them for about two hours before experiencing any discomfort. Others, like myself, will feel the sound port applying unwanted pressure to the concha and want to take off the buds every 45 minutes for relief. That being said, I wouldn't recommend wearing them for long stretches. On the plus side, these buds do offer personalized fit. The Sony WF-1000XM4 Truly Wireless are the next generation of the Sony WF-1000XM3 Truly Wireless. With this update, Sony has improved their active noise cancelling ANC system, and they can now block out even more bass range noise like the rumble of bus engines. Although we don't test for this, they also support Google Fast Pair and Windows 10 Swift Pair, but lack NFC pairing. Sony has tweaked the sound profile too, resulting in a smooth, warm sound that keeps vocals and instruments clear. However, some users may find they sound dark and veiled. Luckily, they're compatible with the Sony Headphones Connect app with a graphic EQ and presets to adjust their sound. The Sony WF-1000XM4 aren't suitable for wireless gaming due to their incompatibility with PlayStation and Xbox consoles. They also have high audio latency on PC. The Sony WF-1000XM4 have a more rounded and less bulky look than their predecessor, the Sony WF-1000XM3 Truly Wireless. There's a circular copper accent on each earbud, which has a microphone in the center. These headphones come in two color variants, silver and black. The Sony WF-1000XM4 are comfortable headphones. They're lightweight and don't go too deep into your ear. Since they come with foam ear tips, they help form a better seal, and you don't need to replace them consistently. Unfortunately, they only come with three differently sized pairs of ear tips. The Sony WF-1000XM4 have acceptable controls. They have the same touch-sensitive controls as the Sony WF-1000XM3 Truly Wireless and are really easy to use. On the left earbud, you can cycle between ANC talk though, and voice assistant modes. Conversely, the right earbud offers all music-related controls. You can do all call-related controls on either earbud. You can map either bud with voice assistant, ANC talk through, or volume. There are a few beeps and voice prompts to let you know which setting you've changed. However, the touch controls can be too sensitive, and you may accidentally register a command by accident. If you're on a call, the ANC also turns off and you won't be able to turn it back on until the phone call ends. The Sony WF-1000XM4 have a good case, 